Hey there, LogDog321 here, and today we're going to be talking about the Neato XV Robot Vacuum. Now, in front of me, right here, or beside me, I have the Neato XV14. However, this review also applies to the Neato XV11, 12, 14, and 15. All these different Neato vacuums are basically the same robot, just with different colored, different paint jobs, and different accessories. Now on to the review. So I've had this machine for about a week and I have to say I really like it. This machine is a very, very good machine. Now does it completely replace vacuuming? No. I'm still going to pull out my Shark or my Kirby, you know. But instead of having, you know, vacuum every day, I can vacuum every two, three days, maybe every week. So um, let's talk about it first. So a lot of people might remember like the old Roomba robot vacuums. Now the difference between the Roomba robot and the Neato robot is that the Roomba, it, um, it just bounces around. It uh, just hits a wall, has a random number generator, and turns in a different direction. And then after a while it says it's done, plays a little tune, and turns itself off. The Neato, on the other hand, right here in this little raised part, has a laser on it. This laser allows it to create a map of the room. This map it then uses to create back and forth straight line patterns. Now when I run it, you'll see, um, and it's actually really cool. In addition, the Neato actually has a three amp vacuum motor inside it. Whereas the Roomba just acts kind of like a little sweeper. So um, this machine has great performance, it picks up a lot of dust. But uh, onto that, the reason everyone watches my reviews, they want to see the machine pick up some Honey Nut scooters. Now, um, this review will be a little bit different than most of my other reviews, because I can't just tell it to go back and forth in a straight line. Um, there are ways to do that, they, and uh, actually I will have a programming video up, how to uh, control this thing via your computer, because that's one of the really cool things. It has a, a USB port on the back, so you can plug it into your computer and do all sorts of crazy, really cool things. I will show you guys that in a later video. Um, and actually I have that plan for being made today, but um, f as for now, we don't have that up, so what we are going to talk about is I'm going to just run it in spot mode and see how it picks up some Honey Nut Scooters and Oats. So uh, why don't I get up, I put some Honey Nut Scooters and Oats down, and uh, we'll see how it does. Pretty liberal amount of oats. So let's just make sure you can see this. And there we go. You're good. Okay. Let's turn it on. So now to run a spot clean, it's actually super easy. We just press this big orange button and it makes some music. There we go. We have an LCD screen right here so it's, you can see what's going on. And we just press the menu button, spot clean. Now, um, I will say on video it sounds like thing is, it sounds like this thing's like a jet engine. It's not really that loud. I actually run it while I sleep. So, you know, it's not really loud. But uh, let's see how it does. Now what it's doing right now is it's gonna rev up all the motors. It's gonna take a little look around with its laser and it's gonna start cleaning. There we go, see now it's uh, taking a look around. And now it's gonna do a outline of the area it's gonna clean. And let me make sure we can get this on camera. Another great thing, this will this is designed so that it never touches a wall. Occasionally it will, but um, it's designed to always be, uh, you know, to see it before it bumps it. And I'm being a very bad cameraman and not showing you what's going on. Sorry about that.
So there we go, the Neato just completed a little uh, rectangle of what it's going to clean. It's going to go back to where it started, go forward, and start making back and forth passes. And let's see how it does on this uh, torture track of scooters and oats. You can hear it there. It uh, was picking some up. And let's see. Let's let's listen now. It did miss some oats, but it picked up most of them. But uh, I'll reserve judgment till the end. Now, as you can see, it knows that it's done. It's going back to where I started it. And it's going to play a song. There we go. That is it. Um, let's take a look at what it left. It left um, some oat fragments. And sorry about moving the tripod here. I try not to do that after I uh, made some people sick with some of my videos. So as you can see down here, Yes, it did leave out fragments. If I ran it again, it would probably pick them up. Um, is that kind of expected? Yes. This isn't a full-size vacuum. It did pick up every single one of the scooters, so that's a very good thing. And In fact, I'm going to run it again and just talk to you guys about what it does, what comes with it, all that stuff, and uh, we'll see one more time after it's done what happens. Just let me pan over. Turn it back on again. And let's just have a little talk about the Neato. So the machine retails for $400. I got this one on a sale for about $250. Um, I really like the machine, I will say it. I have a Roomba. Personally, I don't really like it because it doesn't, you know, do much besides bump into things. And I really must have set this thing up wrong. Or I really had it going the wrong way. But uh, we'll see if it. You know what? Let me give me a second. There we go. Now we're going to run it. Sorry about that. But, um,. I will say for $400, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a very good machine, however, I wouldn't pay $400 for it. That to me is a bit too much. Um, do I really like it? Yes. I think it is the best robotic vacuum to ever be produced. Do I think it's the best vacuum in the world? No. But it doesn't have to be. It's not designed to be your primary vacuum. It's not designed, you know replace your upright. It's not designed to replace your Hoover, your Mila, your Kirby, your Shark. It's designed so that instead of having, you know, you vacuum every day, you let the machine vacuum for you every day. You just press the orange button and it will clean your whole house. It will go room to room. And it'll even recharge if it runs out of battery. That's something that, you know, your vacuum won't do. <laughs> your vacuum doesn't automatically do that for you. That's, uh, that's like Nito's big thing. Now, uh, the machine can get a little bit loud, yes, but um, it does pick up quite well. It uh, consistently fills the bin full of dog hair, because as you guys know, I have a dog. 
and this dog enjoys shedding. So uh, this has been great with, picking, with keeping up with all the hair. The one thing that does happen though is the filters do get pretty clogged. So I found that by um, vacuuming out the filters and I just take my uh, shark, and I actually have a video on that. If you look under uh, Neato Maintenance, you can find my video on how to clean the filters. But that keeps the thing running in tip top shape. One thing this doesn't have is it doesn't have a brush. It has a rubber beater bar where it beats the carpet. This can be a good or bad thing. I mean, if you really need a brush, you can buy one. It's an upgrade. But uh, it doesn't come with it unless you get the 21. So that's just something to keep in mind. And here we go. It looks like we're done. And uh, actually, from this angle, let me give me one second. I'm going to wait till this thing's finished. But it looks like the carpet is all clean. This machine does not miss a single spot, and I do love the fact it does those straight line back and forth patterns. It runs for about 45 minutes on a charge, and then after that, it will go back to its charging station automatically, dock itself, charge itself up, and then go back out to exactly where it left off. And there we go. We're done. And that's it. Now, uh, let me show you the dirt bin. The dirt bin is a uh, tidbit small. As you can see, these uh, scooters take up the bottom layer of it. Here's the dirt bin right here. Um, I found that it does fill up pretty consistently on mine, but uh, that's just me. But yes, overall I'd recommend this machine, however at $400 I kind of hesitate. If you can get it for, uh, for $300 or less, I would say go for it. Other than that, I'd say it's a little bit too expensive. Um, overall, this is the best robotic vacuum on the market. I do really enjoy it. I would highly recommend the machine. Sometime I, and uh, there will be more uh, videos coming out with it, so uh, stay tuned for those. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please don't hesitate to rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, um, just post them in the comment section and I will get back to you. So uh, thank you guys all and uh, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.